Now, something I was trying to figure out a little while ago and that a lot of people ask about is if you've got a stupid dimension, for example, this dimension here is 4,983 4, millimeters wide. That is a really random dimension. No builder is going to build to a specific dimension such as 83 millimeters. They'll usually round it up or down to 80 mils or something like that. So what if you did want to change this to 4,980? Is there a way to fudge this so that it doesn't change the model, but it in fact shows a different dimension? If we double click on the dimension text, it will bring up this and it says use actual value. And you might think, oh, we can replace with text and we can type what we want, but this won't actually do anything. It just says select the element the dimension refers to and click the value to edit it doesn't actually do anything. So we close that, delete that, but there is a workaround. What we can do is right click this and go down to insert Unicode control character. We want to find unit separator, which is US down at the bottom here. If we click on that and now we type in a value, for example, 4,980 and click apply. Now it's going to change that value. And if we click okay, you're going to see that updates in that dimension. Now, if you look at the dimension, if we take that same dimension, which is from this wall to this wall, you're going to see that that is still exactly 4,983, but this dimension number has changed. So it has been fudged. In the long run, this is going to cause issues because no matter what this wall changes to be, it will always show 4,980. So it's not a recommended way to change the values of a model, but it can be used as a way to fudge it and as a last resort. But the more of this stuff you do, the more complicated your model can get and the more issues and discrepancies that can happen inside of your model. So I do recommend against doing it, but it is there as an option. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.